Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about lightweight 3D printing material and the possibility of a new type. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. When we get to a thousand subscribers, we're going to start doing subscriber giveaways. All right, so this is a follow-up to my last video where we talked about a new material from Polymaker. I don't know if everybody knows about it, but there has been this really cool material. It's a lightweight foaming 3D printing material. So as it comes out of the nozzle, it expands and foams as it's printing. Really cool stuff in the fact that at different temperatures, it foams differently. So you can actually get different weight densities with the same material. However, the problem is you can get different weight densities with the same material. Esun, <clears throat> they have a new foaming material. It's available from Amazon, Amazon Prime, so free shipping, $45 a roll. It's awesome. And it's a full kilogram. Okay, we're gonna try that. However, there's this new stuff that I found when I was trolling around on the internet. It's from Polymaker and it's, it's brand new stuff. Uh, this stuff is pre-release stuff. They didn't label it correctly. I finally found a spool of white and it is packed all the way to the edge of the spool. And they filled it up all the way. So this stuff is pre-foamed. So, it doesn't foam as it comes out of the, the extruder. It doesn't go It's already pre-foamed, so it just comes out. It's already lightweight. You can kind of feel the difference between this and this already. This is lighter, even though the spool is full. So, this roll was $32 delivered from Amazon. Is it a good deal? As you saw last time, uh, I was in the middle of printing out all the parts for a Pika. It's a V-tail slope soar, and it is an exact copy of one that I made in PLA. In fact, I use the exact same files that I printed this in PLA to print this with the lightweight polymaker material. This was printed at 210. This was printed at 215. And I would have to say that uh, the, the, the 210 looks like it's the, the right temperature for my designs. Uh, the 210, the features are still crisp, um, but it printed well. Really good layer adhesion. Same thing with the, I mean, the 205 printed out nicely, but the uh, 210 is just, just a little bit better. Why do you? So, uh, this is the Polymaker white. And this is Color Fab white. Kind of little, it's a little off white, a little beige. Um, whereas the Color Fab is whiter. So, putting it together, glues together with CA, just like PLA does. All the parts are printed and have been trimmed. Everything has been test fitted and the hinges have been activated. Uh, Ta-da! Here's the finished lightweight fuselage. All right, so here are all the parts for the wing. And so the wing went together rather, rather painlessly. Um, just glued together. CA. So in my design, I have integrated control surfaces that print in place and the living hinges worked out just fine in the new material. Uh, printing, uh, putting it together, very straightforward, same as a PLA version. So this is a comparable model uh, four servo wing, uh, but it's a cross tail, but pretty much the same platform 
uh, in the color fab white material and it's similar to the Esun foaming material and we're going to compare the two and how they fly but first first off let's compare how much they weigh all right so this is balanced ready to fly all the batteries and everything in it and the PLA version comes in at 740 okay so here is the pica for servo wing in the lightweight polymaker PLA it weighs in it let's say 537 I was able to save 200 grams or a third of the weight just by changing material then here is the color fab all up ready to fly for servo wing and it comes in at 480 82 482 now the foaming material is definitely lighter weight than the printed parts and i saved an additional 55 grams by using the foamed material so so the the foamed color fab is 250 grams lighter so the so another comparison of more than just weight is stiffness so pla is a fantastic printing material because it it's it's rigid stiff it it holds its shape very well the uh, polymaker pre-foam stuff it's um it's not as stiff as raw pla but it's you know it's not flexible it feels like it has shape to it even the thin uh the thinnest wall um it's it doesn't it's not flexible uh, and it's it has the wing still has strength to it the parts have strength to it the fuse there's no bending to it the color fab you know there's there's some give to the the skins it, you can feel the mm, slight flexibility of it the the fuse um, let's see if you can let's see if i can hold the bottom still you can see that it wiggles it's it has some flex to it it's foam it feels like foam it's lower density so the so, in a way it's kind of like well it makes sense there's a little bit more density here than there is with the foaming material it's like i don't know 17 percent more dense makes sense so the foaming material is great you can do so many cool things with it the pre-foam stuff as it comes out is great because it's easy and lightweight and you don't have to deal with that fourth slash fifth dimension of the foaming happening while you're printing it's already pre-foamed you have a predetermined density hopefully my request to polymaker is why don't you make a couple of different densities of the PLA maybe make a 50% foamed or a 80% density I don't know stiffer different grades of foamed material that could be cool although this 65% foamed PLA the fact that it prints so easily awesome so I know it's going to fly let's go try it out here we are on Mount Zion. 
We have a pica. This is a Storecraft pica with the four servo RG15 wing. Now it's uh, variable wind as usual, um, but it's coming in at a good angle. It's like five to seven miles per hour. So let's let's fly this. Mm. Look at that. So this weighs 750 grams. It's a little heavy, but is it? It's flying awesome. It's fast, agile, very aerobatic. Oh, it's just fun to fly. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Pika, four servo wing. Here's a rough gin in lightweight color fab foaming PLA. Uh, the wind's blowing, but it's it's pretty south. Um, all right, so we got four wing servos and an elevator um, and it's the this is the lightweight but you can you can see that there's extra thickness on the leading edge anyways this should fly easily there's tons of wind today oh. So all up weight on this guy is 482 grams. Not bad for a four servo wing. The two servo wing came in at 40 grams lighter. So my nine gram servos plus wires and everything added an extra, what, 40? 40 grams, that makes sense. So even though it's lightweight, the RG15, it still moves. different program than I used last time. Normal. This is a maiden flight, so who knows what's gonna happen? My Good, okay. Up. One. No, I'm fine. <clears throat> oh, that flies awesome. This weighs in at, what was it? 537 grams or 540. 
So this is roughly 200 grams lighter than a regular build. I didn't do a very good job with the paint. But up in the air, it looks pretty good. Oh, should be a piece of cake to land. Ah. Ah. <coughs> Terrible pilot. <laughs> That's completely not what I meant to do. <sighs> well, that's why 3D print planes, because I'm terrible at this. Mm. Holy cow. Wow, it did that and, oh, it looks like it got a little bit of my control surface. A little bit. Huh. That's not too bad. Wow. For how hard that went into the bushes, it's pretty good. <laughs> awesome! Oh, I bushed it pretty good that time. No. Oh. <laughs> that was... That was awesome. That was almost too easy. Sweet. Uh, all right. I need to go get my kids. Pika and light, lightweight PLA. Awesome. Four servo wing. <laughs> 